Howdy. Right up front, I want to say that I did not hear Baron Dependent say anything about how he agrees that there are 87 genders, okay? However, could I not go find a person or two that would say that along with me and then say, out of the mouths of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established? Huh. So, in other words, he often uses that in order to uh, verify his own stuff. And it's crazy. That is using the name, the Lord's name in vain. That is using the Lord's name in vain. And I know the scripture means two actual witnesses, not false witnesses. They couldn't be false witnesses. But how does Baron Dependent know whether or not the people that tell him things are false witnesses? How does he know this? He doesn't. So again, he's using the Father's word, or he's misusing, he's, he's, uh, misrepresenting the Father's Word in order to verify his own words, right? That's using the Father's name in vain. So apparently, uh, Bear is about 30 minutes away from me at this current time. Uh, spent $20,000, right? $20,000 to attend an event with a bunch of rich people uh, to try to go home with even more money. Interesting. Um, about 30 minutes away from where I'm sitting right now and I invite him TJ I'm serious I invite you come sit at my table if you don't like the idea of getting eaten up by small baby mosquitoes uh, there's an air-conditioned table inside you're welcome I'm telling you right now Madison County is the most red county in the state of Illinois and our town of Highland is probably the most red town in the state of Illinois. And that is what it is. So you don't have to worry, bro. Um, so apparently, apparently now I'm jealous. And I have a poverty mindset. First, we'll tackle the jealous. TJ. Why would I need to be jealous? First off, you have no idea what my group has. No idea. Not even remotely. How or why would I be jealous when I have what it is that you're trying to scheme people out of? Why would I be jealous? I've got nods, bro. I don't know what to tell you, man. Except... Our group, and I didn't pay for them. I don't, I don't have the money for that kind of stuff, okay? But it doesn't mean I don't have them, and I didn't go out and pander to people to buy them. Neither did the person that did supply, well, there was more than one person that chipped in that supplied them for the group, okay? We didn't go out pandering for other people to go buy our shit, Bear. That's... The, the Lord says we need a not vision, right? That's exactly what I see. By the way, for anybody wondering, we, may, we made coffee time with Bear this morning uh, because I am the one on Facebook that was calling his, his ass out on... <laughs> Jesus says I need the nods. Buy your own shit, bruh. Buy your own shit. So anyway, I, no reason to be jealous. Let's move on to the poverty mindset. Do you know why I got a poverty mindset, and if you want to call it that, and where I got that poverty mindset? Any, any guesses? Any guesses? Any guesses? Same book you read, bruh. You show me one disciple. Show me. One disciple that had all the things. They didn't. In fact, what did they have to do before they followed Yeshua? What did, what did, they, what did they have to do? I'm not going to give the answer. What did they have to do? Bullshit on you're not a Joel Olstein. 
pastor. You're absolutely a Joel Osteen pastor. There's, <laughs> there's no two ways about it, man. There's no two ways about it. Man, you are something else. I've got a po quote unquote poverty mindset because I'm not supposed to have crazy abundance. That was one of the lessons that I was taught from the Father. I'm sorry if you think I would be better taught by you or by Vakan Preparedness because, oh Jesus, give me a fucking break with your stick, man. Seriously. Seriously. I'd love to sit down and talk with you, but don't think I'm going to fuck around. Don't think I'm going to sit there and play footsies with you with the Word of God because I'm not going to do it. I'll call your ass out. I'll call you to the table just like I'm doing now. I don't run from accountability, TJ. Don't. It's kind of interesting how you and people like pinball preparedness, all that can poke, but then you fucking run. You have no accountability. You, you won't have the talk. You just run your fucking mouth and then run your little ass. That's all you guys do. Oh, look at the dude too much. You too much. You fucking retards, what you are, dude. Jesus. Sorry, Father. So let's talk about the Father a little bit. Psalms 10. Psalm, well, Psalms 10. Psalms, actually 12. Sorry, Psalms 12. I don't know what I, what I did there. Save Elohim, for the lovingly committed one is no more. For the trustworthy have ceased from among the sons of men. They speak falsehood with each other. They speak with flattering lips. A double heart. Do we know anybody that does that? Do we? Elohim does cut off all flattering lips. You know, the ones like, I did this, I did that. Look what I'm doing, I'm doing this. You know, every single good deed that you get on that camera and talk about, you just negated. That comes from the Father. This isn't between me and you. This is between you and the Father. Every time you do that, you negate it. I can't help it. This is the Father. Take it up with Him. Appeal to heaven. Because you're going to need it. A tongue that speaks with swelling words. Um, who have said, with our tongue we do, uh, yeah, with our tongue we do mightily. You don't by chance do any of that, do you? Our lips are our own. Who is master over us? Because of the oppression of the poor, because of the sighing of the needy, I now arise, says Elohim, I set in safety. He pants for it. The words of Elohim are clean words, silver tried in the furnace of earth, uh, refined seven times. You guard them, O Elohim. You preserve them from this generation forever. The wrong walk around on every side when worthlessness is exalted among the sons of men. See, when you take one verse and throw it out there. Most of the time, you do so in a very manipulating manner. You notice how what I was after there was just a couple of verses. But what did I do? What did I do? I read the whole chapter. I don't do verses. People that do verses do verses to manipulate people. Because nine times out of ten, what the actual chapter means, complete opposite 
how they use that that one single verse. You know, I don't know what to tell you, man. I've got a bug out location that I can go that is. good to go and don't get me wrong I'm still with the group I'm not leaving the group but I said some time ago years ago that I'd made the decision that I wasn't going to just immediately like if if things went south I wasn't just going to pick up and go out that's what what most of the folks are going to do that's in the group, they're going to go ahead and go. Not. Stay in my happy little white ass right here. Why? This is where the people are? The people I'm supposed to be helping? How can I be helping the people here? If I'm somewhere else? And it's not far. It's not far. I hopped in a car, I could be there in 20 minutes. It's not far. But I can most definitely assure you that nods are just a little bit of what's on our list of toys. Tiniest little bit of what's on our list of toys. See, that's your ego speaking right there. Oh, see what? I got nods. No, you're pandering for other people to buy your nods, brah. Even when you do get them, because, yeah, people will be dumb enough to send money to you. Even when you do get them, are they yours? Are they? You know, I mean, I've got a set to use, but I didn't buy them. They're not mine. Because I didn't buy them. And don't tell me, though, well, somebody just sent me money and that make Well, okay. We've had things donated to us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not on that level. Not on that level. And I would never, never, never even think about going somewhere like that. Pandering to people for stuff like that. Man, that's why you say the whole if the Spirit convicts you, because that way, when people come back to you and say, you know what, you were full of shit. You'd say, well, that's why I said that if the Spirit convicts you. Right? He's going to use that as a fail-safe. I ain't dumb. I've been around a little bit on this ball of dirt. I've dealt with a lot of scumbags. Right? I've done my own share of scumbaggery. I've done my share of manipulation. I've done my share of a whole bunch of things. I know it when I see it. Buy your own shit, Bear. Right? I don't believe, it's my opinion, that this Caleb House thing is nothing but a sham. My God. A prepper that promotes promotional speakers. A pastor that promotes promotional speakers. Dude, do you have any idea how much of a oxymoron, if I'm using the right word, that is? It's like completely ironic, man. Prepping, self-sustainability, right? But... I need somebody to keep me moving. Hmm. 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 Pastor. Right? Pastor. Give all things to God. <laughs> but I need this man to help keep pushing me forward. No. All you need is him. You don't need none of them <laughs> scam artists that make you feel good. That's why you keep buying their shit. Dude. 
You're a smart man, but wisdom escapes you. Don't let the Father escape you. I'm telling you, He is going to take it all away, dude. He is going to take it all away. I'm not saying this because I'm jealous. I'm saying this because He's telling me that your actions, that your words are wrong. And that I need to speak out for the anybody that can hear so they don't follow your path. And I'm sure part of it is to open your eyes up if you've got enough common sense to listen. What means more to you, Bear? Father or the almighty dollar? Might want to make that decision Make it quick and make it very clear to him. Because right now, I don't think it is. Shalom.